Um, I had a, a normal life in 2006 before this all began, and then uh, the unthinkable happened. Uh, my best friend was uh, serving in the Canadian Forces, took his helmet off in a peaceful shura. He was discussing how to bring clean drinking water and health care to the families of the village. And a man who did not want to see his community have free thought or free will put a Taliban axe through my best friend's head. While I was uh, studying about Afghanistan and continuing to try to carry his mission to help him on his healing journey, I read about this man, Abdullah, in Afghanistan. And he was growing the legal orange blossom and rose to get the farmers off the illegal poppy crop, which is 90% of the world's heroin. And the same people that attacked my best friend were knocking over his distillery. And I thought, that's it, I'm coming. I actually had to go on Dragon's Den. I needed the money. The banks wouldn't give me a loan. They wanted my kids. I liked my kids. I wasn't handing them over. Uh, I had a perfect credit rating. I owned my own house. And they didn't want to give me money to buy oils from Afghanistan. I buy the oil from their orange blossom crops, the legal crops to empower the economy. And I convert it into a product that's North American ready. And it's perfume, Afghanistan orange blossom. Is there an altruistic reason you're buying orange blossoms from just this source because you want to help the political war-torn country Afghanistan? Or are you trying to build a business around perfume? Because I've got to make the assumption that I can get a source of orange blossoms a lot cheaper from a lot less risky supply. Which is it? Uh, it, it's, it's both. I mean, I've had no problem to date. My experience has been fantastic with this community. Uh, but it's about shining light on Afghanistan. My son said, you gave Kevin O'Leary your happy meme face. You know the happy meme face. Come on, kids, we're going now. Mommy's not going to blow a gasket here, no? No, happy meme face. I got to open for him in Halifax, and when he heard we were in all 90 Hudson's Bay stores, he said, I missed the boat. I said, yes, you did. My mission is to ignite a business cavalry to come and do trade with nations rebuilding so we can end the cycle of war and poverty. My favorite thing is giving talks and igniting others through the stoic wisdom of the great philosophers to go and build a better world. So the idea of a social enterprise, which I think a lot of females love the idea and today's citizens want, uh, is actually to shine light. I think there's enough dark places on this earth, I'm not creating more. Let's shine light through our social enterprise so the communities can change. It's beyond our bottom line. Our bottom line's a part of it, but it's not the whole company. And everybody makes a little bit of money. Nobody makes all the money. The farmer, the retailer, the supplier, and us. And that's how we make change.